Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Tarrant, director of the Neuro Meditation Institute. And I wanted to just take a couple of minutes to talk to you about open heart, the open heart style of meditation. So really we're using the term open heart as an umbrella term to look at any kind of meditation practice that involves activating a positive emotional state. So things like loving kindness and compassion, those practices fit here. So do gratitude, appreciation, forgiveness, any of those types of meditations that invoke those feeling states. Now, in addition to invoking those feelings, usually we're also doing something with those feelings, sending them out to others. So it might be friends or family or coworkers, maybe sending those feelings to ourselves, or maybe sending them out to regions of the world that are experiencing difficulties. So any type of practice that involves activating an emotional state and engaging it, doing something with it, will fit in this umbrella. Now, while there's a lot of different ways to practice open heart, they all have some things in common. And one of the things that is similar between all of these is how it changes patterns in the brain. If you look at the frontal lobes of the brain, the left versus the right, when there's more activation on the left side, people tend to be in a more positive, optimistic uh, feeling state. They tend to be more approach oriented. So they'll move toward difficulties to resolve them. When activation is leaning more to the right, people tend to be a little bit more negative or pessimistic and not surprisingly more depressed. Now, what's kind of cool about this is that when you're doing any kind of an open heart practice, you're actually shifting things over to the left. You're teaching your brain, you're teaching your nervous system to stay, to reside in that positive emotional state more consistently. So for this reason, it can be a very powerful practice for managing mood, also for things like resentment or learning to be more empathic, taking on the perspective of others, dealing with anger, unresolved grief, any of those kinds of things, this can be a really powerful practice. So I hope you'll check out some of the resources available on our site and maybe join us for a class. All right. Thanks for being with us. I hope to see you soon.